sharing a bedroom with my brother Andy, and he had a picture of Ali Brown, who was a uh, uh, West Brom, right. and he had it on his wall. And I remember thinking, as a really young, so I thought, oh, it's, you know, I knew he was a footballer, obviously. And then he explained who he was. My brother was a West Brom fan. Right. And then on the back of that, li almost literally, went in school the next day, and a lad called Cy Howard, who I used to sit with at school, right. said about this club called Eyes Lodge, and he used to go to it, football club. I'd no, hadn't bothered with football at all until that moment. And How he got me into playing football at seven. There's a picture which you can, I'll, I'll let you see and you can use it wisely. Thank you. Of a group of us uh, with the Eyes Lodge kit on and he's, he's literally right next to me. Wow. So there you go. Um, and what age did you realise, do you know what, I'm pretty good at football? One day after I started, that was it. <laughs> then I knew that the rest is going to be glorious and it's all going to work hand in glove yeah. from that moment onwards. <laughs> The obvious way, I was a Liverpool fan in the 70s. Kenny Dalglish, legend. I, I only met him a few years ago. I was so buzzing to meet him. He was just chatting to me dead normal, which is weird, isn't it? Because you go, like, I'm like, Kenny, 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 Kenny's talking to me, King Kenny. But you're going, yeah, 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 we're doing all right at the minute. Yeah, well, you we're trying to be out really cool. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, I was Kenny. Like, active managerial. <laughs> really, I was like, oh, can you just sign something for me, mate? You know what I mean? Burnley away for Watford, 2-2. Two, two. We'd had an unbelievable pre-season in the fact that it was shocking uh, um, Watford. We'd lost a few players, we brought a few in and we just couldn't get it to mould and it was like really worrying. I was like, oh goodness. And we came up here and we couldn't believe it. We were 2-0 up and properly, you know, and you, you know, and you get your pad on the side, I'm, going, I'm like, what, what's happening? Because I'm like, I'm like right, well, I don't know. I thought we weren't going to be 2-0 up. Let's put that one. Anyway, they ended up scoring late on to get a 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. Uh, so that was my first ever... Um, game as a manager. What's the best thing you've written in that book? Do you, do you muck around sometimes? And like, Yeah, a lot. I remember we were um, comfortably down in a game and I've just put trouble and just wrote trouble on it. You know what I mean? And then <laughs> just put a question involved. mark. Yeah, yeah. As if to, and show won't it went as if to go, you know, so it looks like you know what you're doing. You're just going, uh, uh, I'm like, question mark, what, what are you going to tell me we're going to do about that kid? And he's going, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it looks good, but you go, <laughs> well, I don't know. I'll tell you the last time I was starstruck, which unfortunately is not the answer to your question, but I'm going to tell you don't anyway. Mind, don't mind. Was uh, meeting Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers. And I was probably like, oh, all right, that's really nice thing, because I look really into music. And, yeah. Uh, the lads were buzzing off it, they were there, they're going, look at you, you absolutely <laughs> melted. I was going, yeah, well, you know, he's like proper legend. What did you say to him? I don't know, he's like, hi. <laughs> yeah. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, that was great, you're really good on the guitar, aren't you? Like they do for things you say when you're sort of in that weird mode. Um, but no, I don't really. I, I'm was, not, he, was he just looking at you, just like, yeah? He's, or did he go he's probably thinking, Sean Dyche? Who's this ginger beast? I doubt he was thinking Sean Dyche. I doubt he was thinking that. That's fair to say. <laughs> I've got a feeling it might have been Spear of Destiny. I think that might have been the first one. There were stiff little fingers, Spear of Destiny, at a similar time. I think Spear won it. I think. Yeah. Loved it. Rock City. Did you go for it, don't you? No, uh, yeah, well, I've had no, my you're moments. In, you're in the old mosh pit. No, not anymore, mate. That's, that's camera. Camera's ahoy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's only Crouchy does that. Crouchy's still in there. He's yeah, going, him in the robot. Yeah, he's going, I'm bothered. Do you ever have long hair? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I look like the long-haired type of guy, don't I? <laughs> Massively long. Big shaggy perm at the back. Chrissy <laughs> Waddle at the front back in the day. Oh, looks so good. Because, looks so good. Big you're ginger buying it now. You're buying it now. You could have hair. No, I have actually got hair. Yeah. People, people would come up to me and they go, you've actually got hair? And I go, yeah. And they go, well, most people are losing their hair, shave it off. And I go, no, I just choose it. I choose to shave it off. It's ginger, isn't it? You know, it's ginger hair. you got as little ginger hair on your body as you can. If yeah. you've got ginger hair, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd give anything to have your hairline. Mm. Oh, yeah, no, it's all right, the hairline. Hairline, yeah, exactly. Because there, there is actually hair on there. Yeah. Right? Well, sure, it's, it's, it's an outback. No, no, you're struggling, mate. The wing backs are <laughs> well in advance. You are well struggling, kid. <laughs> I can see why you're shaving yours. Yeah. But at least you've got a good head, you know, because head shape's important when you shave your head. Before I shaved my head, I thought my head was massive. No, it is, mate. Have you no, not? No. Mm. Okay. <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, no, of course it's not. No, no, no. I don't think it's... You must have very little shoulders. <laughs> I don't... I think I've got a nice little head. Oh, you've obviously got a complex. I right think... Right. Well, I think Cut. Got... Let's leave it. What? No, come on. I think your head's bigger than mine. Mine is. Mine's got a head like a bison. <laughs> We used to weigh heads when I was at Millwall. Really? Yeah, we used yeah. to weigh heads, yeah. yeah. We used to get the scales and weigh heads. Were you the champ? No, Brian Law. Proper bison head. Yeah? I can't even remember the poundage, but it was a lot. How did you weigh heads? 
get the scales. And, just, <laughs> like, and we used to put a finger on the neck and go, right, you let your neck go loose because people used to cheat and yeah. just tighten the neck. And we'd go, you're cheating, you're cheating. All that crazy stuff we used to do as players, you know what I mean? <laughs> crazy. Yeah, we didn't bother about tactics, you know, no, just, just, just what we do today at training, Gaffer. Uh, yeah. Just way Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was brilliant. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Good to see you. Cheers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs>